So having said all that, what are we not going to do on herd tail is probably as important as what we are going to do. We're not going to yell. We're not going to holler and fuss and caterwaul about things. We're just not going to do it. I know a lot of people have their priors and they want to fuss and fight. And there's this big culture of, you know, come at me, bro, and debate me and all this sort of thing on social media. If you want to do that, that's fine. That's your God-given and constitutional right. Have fun. God bless. Try not to hurt anybody. But we're not going to do that here. There's other places for that. Here, we're going to talk, we're going to listen, we're going to discuss. And it's not because things aren't important enough to fight and debate about. It's just there's a certain way we want to do it so that it's productive. We don't want to just do it to make ourselves feel like we're doing something like a hamster on a wheel in a cage. You can exert a whole lot of energy, but did you actually accomplish anything? We want to make not just ourselves better, but the people around us better. We want to solve problems by starting with the mirror and seeing if there's something that we need to change or correct our view on or learn about. Or maybe we're just doing something out of ignorance because we didn't know any better. And then try to find out what our communities and families and by extension our nation and our world can improve on. If we're not willing to do a few things with ourselves, it's really hypocritical for us to demand anybody else change anything about anything they're doing. And it's something that's kind of been lost in American culture and politics right now. We're really, really good at telling everybody else what to do. We're not real good about taking some constructive criticism about what we can change first that might make those folks a little bit more open to what we need to work on together.